Hello again and welcome to our morning or afternoon blogs, whichever time of the day you're watching this, uh, from Kimmel Bay Church on the lovely North Wales coast. Uh, some of us who do the blogs have been invited to uh, bring a, a promise from the scriptures that uh, have meant a bit, quite a bit to us during the years or maybe just recently. And I just want to turn us to uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 6, chapter 6 of the Gospel of John and verse 37, where there are a few wonderful words from the lips of the Lord Jesus. And I'll read those to you. These words say this. Jesus said, All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. I think that's absolutely wonderful. We, uh, we often sing a, a, a lovely old hymn which says, Standing on the promises of God my Saviour. And uh, that's what I just want to address this morning for a few minutes, the business of standing on the promises, of taking God at his word, if you like. Someone has said, you know, that God the Father is the perfect gentleman. And one of the reasons why he's the perfect gentleman is that he keeps his word. He will never, ever go back on his word. And Jesus can say with confidence there, <clears throat> whoever turns to me, I will never turn away. And, and that's right. He does never, he will never turn a person away. I'd like to tell you a little story which goes back to when we lived on the south coast, uh, when our daughter, our elder daughter, was um, being baptized one Sunday evening. She was a teenager, it was in the 70s, and uh, as was the custom then, it was at Little Hampton Baptist Church. Some of you may know that church. And uh, it was um, one su summer evening, and, and uh, as was the custom, uh, candidates were invited if they wished <coughs> to uh, make a comment or statement or give a verse that had been helpful or whatever. And Jan, much to our surprise, because we remembered absolutely nothing about this, her mum and I, uh, she said that when she was younger, we had on one occasion given her a pencil. Yeah, a pencil. And you know the way pencils sometimes uh, have a, a, a writing on them, it's, it's engraved into it, you know? And the side of this pencil uh, had this verse on it. Um, whoever turns to me, I will never turn away. And um, Jan had remembered that, and that had gone home to her heart and her mind. And uh, it was part of the uh, links of the chain which led her to faith. And uh, that was rather wonderful, really. And this phrase, really, i just like to briefly, as we spend a few minutes together, uh, divide this into two bits. First of all, whoever turns to me, and secondly, I will never turn away. Seems to me that it's worth just mentioning and remembering the beauty and the glory, if you like, and the graciousness of God as we remember that phrase, whoever turns to me. Because what does that mean? Well, that means that he is approachable. That means that our great almighty God is approachable. The, ma the God who made the universe, the God who is the great creator God and the sustainer of all things, the God who is almighty God is approachable. And he's approachable by the likes of you and me. And I say that quite advisedly, the likes of you and me, because we're all in the same boat, aren't we? We're all before God, his creatures, and we're all before God, those who come short of what he could reasonably expect of us. The Bible says in another place that all have sinned, all have sinned, no exceptions, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that includes me. And I have to tell you, that includes you. 
but God is approachable. He has made a way. He has opened the avenue to approach the thrice holy God of, of, of heaven and eternity. He has made a way. How has he made that way? He has made that way by the cross. It is by the cross. Let us never, ever, dear friends, forget the cross. What does the cross mean to you this morning, I wonder, as you listen to this or this afternoon? What does the cross mean to you? Does it, is it just a symbol or does it mean salvation in the Lord Jesus, uh, where he paid the price for your sin and for my sin? Well, God has opened the way to him. He's made himself approachable. And I say that reverently. We can approach his throne in the name of the Lord Jesus. And uh, Jesus says in his word, whoever turns to me, whoever comes to me, whoever approaches me, if you like, uh, if, I, if I can uh, paraphrase that, whoever approaches me, I will never turn away. What about the second bit? What about the second bit? I will never turn away. Well, that's true. That's true. He will never turn you away. There is no sin that you can uh, commit that is not forgivable. Jesus said there is only one sin uh, that is unforgivable, and that is the sin of totally rejecting him, I guess, by blaspheming the Holy Spirit uh, and and um, and turning, not listening or not not being prepared to heed and do uh, take action on what the Holy Spirit advises. There is no sin too great for him, and he never loses patience with us. He will always want us to come back to him. When he says that you can approach me, he means what he says. And when he says he will never turn us away, he means what he says. And uh, he will accept us uh, when we when we turn to him. How wonderful that you and I can live in the light of these words that uh, Jesus is there. There's a lovely picture in the New Testament in the last book in the Bible, in the book of the Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 20, a very famous verse uh, where we read that uh, Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Uh, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And he said, if you open to me, I'll come in. In other words, if you open the door to me, I will come into your life. I will come into your life and I will make your life entirely different. We often talk about being uh, changed. We often talk about being transformed. And that's what this blessed Lord Jesus is able to do to my life and to yours, to transform us to transform us, to make us different, to make us uh, with, with, with new priorities, with new levels of, of importance in our lives, with new values. He's able to give us a, an entirely different view of life. Peter, in one of his dis, uh, letters, uses the term about uh, a wonderful light. He says that God has brought us from darkness into his marvelous light not ordinary light but marvelous light i wonder have you trod that pathway as you listen this today to this have, has it been your experience that jesus has come into your life and come on board in your life and uh, made you well a different person really you may look the same and you may act so, so often the same uh, sometimes to your regret and my regret sometimes if I uh, act like I used to but he's there and he will never ever turn us away Jesus said whoever comes to me I will never turn away let us pray Lord Jesus thank you so much for your wonderful promises in the word there are so many of them there are so many of them and so much of wisdom and kindness and grace fell from your lips uh, as we've got it recorded in your word and Lord we take this promise this morning or this afternoon and we say yes Lord I do approach you yes Lord 
I know that you won't turn me away. Help me to bask in the sunshine of your presence in my life. For your dear name's sake. Amen. Goodbye, and the Lord bless you.